Step into the ring!
Hello, everyone, and welcome to Smash Purple versus Suni Eerie in uh, week three CAC matchup um, with Frisco today. What's going on, Frisco? What do you mean? We are the collective commentary chimera known as Frenny. <laughs> yes. Well, who is Frisco? We're trying, out, we're trying to work out bands right now. Uh, we'll be starting in just a few minutes, but uh, I'm uh, I'm excited, I'm ready to go. Yeah, me too. It'll be really cool. Um, it's all watching Purple play always super fun. I love seeing what these guys can yeah. kind of bring out. And. Uh, ECAC, ECAC, yeah, ECAC, yes, I know what I'm doing, 100% know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, and as we go, here's a stage list. Uh, we have our starters on the first half, so any, whenever we start a round in one of these matches, we only have the, essentially the top half of the list that you're seeing on the screen right now available, and a banning process goes through it. And, and Denny, is that, when we do bans, is it 2-1-1? One, one? Like, how is it, how is it done with ECAC? For game one in the series, which is this game, uh, home team bans one from starters, then the way team bans two, and then home team selects. Ah, nice, nice. So, now, knowing the players in purple, I am going to assume we're going to go to FD. I don't know if you've watched, like, the previous, like, three matches that I've done with purple. Um, my commentary consists of me always saying, uh, considering purple's lineup, probably shouldn't don't want to go to fd and we always end up going to fd it's super funny like they those people those guys <laughs> in purple love fd it's crazy to me I, I don't i don't know but they make it work for themselves it's just funny yeah and it looks like we are i hope it's FD. going to no it's actually not <laughs> uh it's town ps2 and smashville are banned uh, Town PS2, Smashville. So, so either FD was Battlefield. We're going to Battlefield. <clears throat> or nope, never mind. It is going to be FD. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. You're right. You're right. You were right in the end. <laughs> it just—I I don't know what it is. I mean, hey, they always make it work for themselves. So I am not—I'm not going to question it much farther than that. Yeah. All right, here we go. <clears throat> It's going to be a K rule, I believe, for the Cats taking on Asthmatics DK. Asthmatics up first. Nice. Uh, what are you feeling about this matchup right now, Danny? Uh, we might we might end up restarting here because <laughs> <laughs> got hit while taunting. <laughs> I think we. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. I mean, I, if, I mean if, if if I mean another <laughs> thing, they could take on the percent if I guess if they wanted to but it's whatever I yeah I guess that's I guess that's got to be asthmatic's fault for taunting at the start of like a competitive match but I well you're technically supposed to um if socks need to be SD'd but yeah. socks did not need to be SD'd so right now King K rule with a very strong lead coming out for Sumieri yeah he's doing a good job using the uh hitbox uh select the six box transfer of K rule to dodge the getup attacks here from uh, DK, but uh, Asthmatic coming back strong here, but gets hit by the up tilt. But he's a chonky boy. But Ooh. now one is not uh, what? going to save his life there. Yeah, kind of a little greedy considering K rule has such a strong mm -hmm. uh, option to kill off the top. So charging and leaving yourself open like that is kind of a questionable move. Up tilt. Ooh. These crown approaches tough for him to get in. Yeah. Yeah, crown approaches gonna be super hard. So I will say, smash. I will say, this is a lot more even now than if you think about it. It's, oh, oh no! no! <laughs> wow, what a reversal there from the uh, from Polar Chan. I believe Suni Airy is playing. Uh, I could be wrong about this, but I believe they are playing from uh, different switches tonight. But, oh, are uh, they? Yeah, well, I mean, we'll see. But anti air has been like, having, an itch, having a tough time against this K rule for sure. Yeah, it's a, it's just like the I it's just funny because like these these interactions that he's going for are just not wow, going another to great. I know, the, and like these are things you should be going for those situations. It's just mm -hmm. oh, what happened there? <laughs> I, don't, that was I don't know. 
I, I don't know what happened there. Asthmatic does take a stock, though. Very important stock. Oh, wow, the sour spot of down air connects, and that's going to be easy edge guard. Oh, wow. the cannonball almost saved him. That would have been really funny. <laughs> yeah, that would have been crazy. There were so many crazy interactions in that match. I don't even know, like, where to begin. It was just the reversal off stage, the stage spikes that failed, the cannonball connection. And there was, I don't know if you noticed, but that um, sour down tilt almost connected into the cannonball, but it despawned. I was yeah. like, I, I, I could have sworn he was going to hit that cannonball and, and the stock was going to get taken there, but it was just, mm -hmm. you know, it was just take a little longer than what we thought. Crazy first match. And that brings, cause that brings us to six to eight. Yep. Post at six. And not FCN. I don't know why I'm still FCN. Uh, six. Let's do, I'll just label them as SEC. SUNY Airy College. Community. Whatever. Uh, so right now, post at 6. And SUNY at 8. So, I mean, K. Rule is a character that, you know, Purple has a lot of experience with. Especially Kenny. I think Kenny is going to have a very strong showing here. And... This matchup must be very oppressive against K. Rule, um, considering yeah. the suction, the grenades explode. I assume, just like it worked with Ban would work with Banjo, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's correct. Yeah. So here we go. Yeah, Eagle's gonna have to play uh, from behind here to start things off. Yeah, and it's just the only thing Snake kind of needs to worry about. I feel like in this matchup is Crown, because Crown is going to be a really good like zoning. No way! Oh, he, he came out of it. <laughs> that was close. You got to SDI super hard, I feel like, to get the hell yeah. out of that. <laughs> K my god, this K roll is so good at catching these enemies. No! Wow, Snipe. I didn't wow. know you could oh. kill Cypher in one hit with that. Oh my That's god. crazy. Great uh, KO there from Polar Chan. Yeah. And, uh, gonna be, uh, gonna be tough for the Eagles here. Yeah, Kenny needs to make sure, you know, that. He doesn't let those approaches happen again. He has to ensure that offstage go. It's tough because if he, it already shows that the K rule is willing to commit to high recoveries and uh, commit to these like high level kills. So Sank being like a character that recovers high regularly, you got to be careful now. You have to be very careful about how you recover. Yeah. Because now it's, it's just not safe. Yeah. Very true. And he's shown that he's capable of going for that. Nice fair off stage. Doesn't quite find the kill yet. Not not high enough percent, but the up air does take it. And uh, Polar Chan on a rampage here yeah. for Suni. Pun punishing these high recoveries like nothing. Oh my god. Kenny has to kind of like really adjust. I would, at this point, it's kind of risky to recover low because of K rules um, bear. But at this, it's gotta be, this has gotta be to a point where Kenny needs to be, oh, there we go. Kenny needs to be like out of the range of crown as often as he can while still zoning K rule. Wow, nice spot dodge there on the up tilt. Kenny really has to get at least one stock here or it's gonna be super rough. Yeah, and the, and the uh, Snake does have confirms on K rule right now. Down, uh, down throw to F tilt will kill on K rule at this percent. Um, and now we have down throw to up tilt. Um, yeah, yeah. Ooh, he so grabbed the grenade. F tilt won't take it at this at mid stage though. Nope. But the Nikita will. Very key stock take there from uh, Ghost. Down throw. Yep. He gets grabbed. Choosing oh, not to mash went. out. Mm -hmm. Interesting. We'll save him a little bit of, of damage there. Very quick Get combo. Some damage back. Oh, he went for the uh, short hop down air there. Oh, the, we went for down tilt. Yep. Nice back air. Back air. Oh, I thought he was gonna go for the spike there. <laughs> yeah. Now, and here's the thing: is Snake kind of can work from a deficit a little bit because of his big weight and the kind yeah. of the nature of his game plan. So, Snake has lots of quality stocks, and we've seen Kenny work with very good stock percentages. So there is a chance he could get snag this last stock right here, which is imperative. Oh, but the uh, cannonball finds the last stock. I think the only reason that hit was because Kenny threw out up tilt, and I think it collided with the cannonball. Otherwise, that would have low Kenny would have low profiled that. I'm pretty sure. Um, Seven to three now with great coming up next for the Eagles. That's crazy. Seven to three. three seven, got it.
this is actually this is for me this is pretty crazy like considering how much experience that post has with k rule this is pretty oppressive right now um mm -hmm. this is just like a like a, a whole new level i guess that we're kind of seeing right now but i have faith that great is familiar you know he's plenty familiar with this matchup right now and with his character picks I think that there is a decent shot that uh, we will see this first stock taken on Great's half. Considering Bowser and everything. Bowser's just, like, incredibly heavy. He's the heaviest character in the game. He can hold on to stocks incredibly well. And yep. Great is... And we are going to uh, Town and City here. Interesting. Okay. SUNY banned uh, Battlefield Smashville and Small Battlefield. What did they ban? They banned uh, Battlefield, Smashville, and Small Battlefield. Battlefield, Smashville. That's interesting. I feel like you would want to keep Smashville open for a K roll. <laughs> Very interesting. But uh, Kenshiro, we've seen him go on rampages before. Let's see if he can do it again. He needs to find this first stock against Polar Chan. That's step one. If he loses at least one stock here, it's going to be nigh impossible if uh, Suni Eri's other players are just as good. As this K rule. That was a nice very job. good throw. Yep. Yeah, nice job using the grab there to dodge the incoming damage from the crown. Good pressure off stage as well. Barely missing that uh back air. Yeah, that that up smash was kinda greedy. And use ooh, the, the the hitbox from the propeller mm -hmm. to hit Bowser around the edge of the stage. Double fair. Good recovery. Oh, in the down air? Nice! Brilliant. And Brilliant. just like that, Kenshiro gonna close that one out. Uh, but that was scary for a little bit after those double fares opened an edge guarding situation up for uh, for K rule. But uh, it is in reach here. Game one is in reach. <laughs> Ken yes. Kenshiro is really gonna have to pop off these next two games, though. And I feel like considering the stock counts that we see out of purple for the yep, most, yep, is gonna be separate switches. Nice. We will know who's playing. I will say so. Oh, ooh, let me write that down then. So, uh, Polar Chan. Was K rule okay? Cool, yep. cool, cool. Now I will say, considering the stock counts we've seen from posts in previous matches, um, we've seen a lot of like, you know, weight being carried from each individual person depending on the lineup. I feel I do. I don't think that this is out of the realm of possibility for especially a player like Ken Kenshiro. Uh -huh. um, I feel like a lot can happen, and with the, the full stage list open, um, and we have Bowser. I, I mean, I've given my suggestions for that Bowser should ban in the past, but we always end up at FD, so. He's, he, well, he banned FD this time. He banned oh. FD, Battlefield, and Smashville. Interesting. Uh, FD, Battlefield, and what? Smashville. Smashville. Interesting. I, I agree with I agree with a good chunk of that, like, personally. I think <laughs> Not that's, FD, I, I think, though. <laughs> uh, banning FD? Well, I think ba that's, that's technically, I would say that's... that's probably technically Bowser's worst stage, even though it's probably still good for him. Um, just because I feel like Bowser like really benefits off a platform whenever he gets side B. Like at least oh, even, even, even yeah. in a dual plat. Like dual plat yep. is like a little weaker, but I mean FD he literally can't kill with that as early. It literally mm -hmm. that's what it means. Um, yeah. But I mean Bowser on FD is a straight up nerf, I think, unless it's such a bad stage for his opponent's character as well, that's the thing. But we yeah. don't know. They have counter pick here, so yeah, I mean, <laughs> Bowser versus Bowser. We're just nerfing each other. Red. So now we have Red coming in. This is uh, Red Owls. Uh, okay. And I assume Monkey Boy must play either Diddy or DK. It must be. <laughs> unless <laughs> unless that's the entire point, is it's a ploy. Oh, I mean, it could be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still waiting on their stage selection. Um, but their player did just join the lobby, so... Watch Red play Snake, and then this is like the alternate Ooh. evil dimension version of Post. Oh, he wants to go to Kalos. Oh, right? That would be so funny, <laughs> actually. That would, that would be really funny. <laughs> you said Kalos? Yeah, we're going to Kalos. Watch this be Snake. This would be so funny. I hope it's Snake. <laughs> if it is Snake and we are going to Kalos... Um... I feel like Bowser would win that, like, stage-wise. I feel, I feel like Bowser gets the most buffs 
for most stages. I love how we're just assuming that it's Snake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's the only way now at this point. We have to. Yeah. It is, it, this is Snake, or this is not the canon matchup. Like, right now we're in a Shonen. Hmm. D the DK. Oh, maybe there's two oh, DKs. Well, <laughs> well, I mean, Andrew did pick DK in the first round, so. Again, another character that great has a ton of experience fighting against. Mm -hmm. um, I, I do think Bowser wins this matchup for, you know, just having, like, at least a little bit of a zoning tool and, like, kind of oppressive buttons at range and mm -hmm. kind of, like, good speed. At least Bowser has, like, better disadvantage than DK off stage. Yeah. Um, but again, but this still this, these are two brawlers. They're essentially going to mess each other up no matter what. Yeah. Good start for Kenshiro, but a good re recovery there from Red. Good up, he oh. out of shield. One fourteen now on Red as another edge guarding opportunity for. What, what, what was that? I don't know. What? what I don't is know. That? <laughs> I was going to ask you. I don't know what happened. <laughs> What was that? Is something clanked with his recovery and it just killed him? But like he had already gotten started, started to get be getting hit first. That was well, so weird. Well, what is strong enough to kill him? That's quick like that. I, I don't know. Maybe it was back air or something. But I thought it what it, I thought it must have been a move with armor. Uh, gonna, but it wasn't. We're gonna replay that later <laughs> somehow. Yeah. I need to know. Again, wonderful stuff coming out of Kujiro right now. Yeah. Oh. Oh, missing that side B. And it's going to get grabbed. Red pausing for a second, trying to choose the right throw. Oh, and this is Gosh, the back off stage. Yep. Really good. Gonna be tough for he, that was way too low. But he's just going to SD. Okay. We, we take those. <laughs> yeah, I we mean, take those. <laughs> three, we got to get some of those. I was like, where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> yeah. Kenshiro with a lot of momentum now. That's got to get in your head if you uh, make a bad SD like that. Back and, uh, oh, he's just going for that fair. I actually oh, really like that high recovery. recovery. Oh, you must make it back to neutral. That was really dicey there for a second. Nair. Nair's going to skim. Going to miss. Oh, wow. Woo. Back here. Can he three stock? There's the flame breath. I, the he, did, he doesn't have a jump. He doesn't have a jump. That must oh. have been it. Oh, he oh. missed it. That must have been it. The uh, F tilt. That's. I think that's what it was earlier. Uh-oh. This is going to do it. Oh, He's wow. a big He's a boy. Oh, my. Oh, oh. Oh, uh, I guess this down B. That's good, but if Kinshiro's able to clutch it out right here, it'll be pretty close uh, final round. Then Kinshiro just needs to secure this final stock. Yeah. Um, yeah you, oh, careful. Use your jump. No. He, oh, my. Oh, I can't believe he, he didn't make, make that. That, <laughs> that was crazy. I didn't know Bowser could go that low. <laughs> oh, yeah, for real. <laughs> and there it is, right there. Yeah, the platform, and that's going to do it, and it's going to be three to two. So, uh... Nice job there by Kenshiro. He finalized the last stock from the K roll without losing any, and then only drops one here to uh, Red, the DK player from SUNY. So uh, now it's going to be a three stock versus two stock match. Four with game one on the line. This lead, there, th there's almost, there's only one stock lead now. This is crazy. The lead yep. was so massive before. <laughs> yeah, believe. Kenshiro just, Kenshiro just brought it back. Same bands, FD, Battlefield, Smashville. Um, Red is going to hop out, I believe. Yep, there he goes. And it will be Monkey Boy coming in next. So, uh, it was Red who played the DK, not Monkey Boy, surprisingly I enough. Mean, maybe, but maybe, I mean, maybe we have a double DK feature. It's or like maybe kinda... it's Diddy. Maybe Diddy is about to come out here, which True. would be a really tough matchup for um, Kenshiro. I believe that's Diddy favored. Diddy versus I, Bowser. I would prefer the, the DK swing because I want a monster movie double feature. <laughs> I want yeah, the double feature, dude. <laughs> you know, all, all heavies all the time. <laughs> it's a monster <laughs> truck rally tonight. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I find like heavy, di like you know, if we, I'll call them heavy dittos, whatever you like, heavy versus mm -hmm. heavy. Those are some of the most fun Dittos. matches to watch. It's just a mm -hmm. giant slugfest. I love them. So oh, yeah. much fun. Oh, and they're going to town and city. Uh, Kenshiro's favorite stage. Is it really? Yeah, he always loves Town and City. As Bowser in general, or like any mm -hmm. character? Yeah. Uh, maybe just as Bowser. I'm not sure on any character, but uh, I know that he always takes to Town and City if he can. 
Unless it's I just a particularly bad matchup. I wonder if it's like a player thing, or if it's like he like generally feels comfortable there with like Bowser. I mean, it could be both, of course, but like, is it like he like thrives in that kind of stage as like a player, no matter who he plays? Or whatnot because that's likes, actually... I think he just likes it as a player. Um, but I haven't really seen him play too much non Bowser in uh, actual league matches, so it's it's hard to say. <laughs> Ooh, a Monkey game and boy. watch. This is gonna be uh, this is gonna be a tough matchup. Yes, very much so. The the <laughs> the the folly of upbees out of shield, <laughs> and mm -hmm. one is one is clearly better than the other. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Oh, but let's see if Kenshiro can clutch it out and take seven stocks for the Eagles here in uh, game one. I will say, there, you know, Game & Watch obviously has very strong zoning tools and very strong, like, kind of buttons to work with and, like, disjoints. But, ba but he's a light boy. He's a very light boy. And Bowser kind of, like, will delete mm. you for that. That's true. And he's already an 81% uh, lead this is kill percent. here for uh, Kenshiro. Yeah, this is absolutely kill percent. One back here will take it. Oh, he almost connects it right there. But uh, grab combo. Oh, no, he DI's out of it. Good job there from Kenshiro, avoiding some damage. I'm sorry, going to be very key. I'm sorry, he needs to the, uh, find this man. pretty soon here and uh, even things up. Dropping shields. Yep, there's another grab. Can't connect it into anything, though. Side B, that's not going to. Oh, wow, it does kill. Poor You're DI! Right. Oh, he is a super light boy. He, yeah, but that was kind of poor DI, I will say. <laughs> Kenshiro does seem to be very careful with his flame breath here because that'll instantly fill up his uh, thing. Yeah, but if Bucket's only filled with Flame Breath, it won't kill, I don't think. It will still be annoying, because it will yeah, go through. True. I think it will still break Shield. I'm not sure. Oh, I love that jab one into Side B. Kenshiro does that a lot, um, and it's really good. And we are dead even now. He lands, and it's going to be a slight lead for that, uh, Suni. That up smash was before was actually the, the right move to do, because I feel like that can intercept uh, his down air. It's just he timed it a little, a little early. I love holding that. Oh. That's gonna be. I love uh, Kenshiro holding that flame breath down that time though, and uh, Jack yeah. tried to go for the uh, bucket, but didn't quite happen. Ooh, down. Go. Interesting choice on the punish there. I would not have thought down until it was the option. I I think I do think that. Oh. Yeah. That on the verge of doing a seven stock on Suni Eri here. This is kind of crazy. Wow. Love that drop down! Oh, he should have gone for the tilt though. Up smash was a little too slow. Yeah. Um, and uh, Suni now down to their final stock. I did not think I was going to say that when it went to 7 3 at the start of this match. But I yet here we are. He has to be careful though because Game Watch is a character that is incredibly oppressive and can kind of like carry you across the stage, especially with heavies. So it's like yep. one good string could really mean the doom for, for Kenny, uh, for Kenshiro right now. Yeah. Oh, grab lands. Uh, Jack does need to find this stock fairly soon because he's already at 56% on his final stock. Still going for these down smashes at ledge, and they're not. haven't really worked out for him. Up smash is going to land, but it's a sour spot. Right Side there. B. That's it! Unbelievable, Kenshiro! What a comeback. Seven stocks to one. They only take one stock from a resident Bowser main. And just like that, the Eagles gonna take game one. Frisco, I I don't really know much else to say other than Kashiro just went beast mode there. Yeah, pretty much. And this is why I feel like Smash, like even like individual matches, these crew battle formats, it doesn't really matter how far behind you are. This game kind of lends itself to like mm. really not easy, but manageable comebacks. We had like. We had uh, an eight stock. No, uh, we were at seven, three. We had a four stock deficit, and it's able to come back. Sma the Smash mm -hmm. Ultimate just kind of lends itself to the, these, you know, swings, big swings, especially when it comes to heavy characters. I feel like heavy characters can really make huge swings, and like how we kind of like have these stock counts and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, it's it's kind of crazy when you think about it. Like. Um... You know, Suni Yuri thought probably thought they were in the driver's seat, you know, after taking out two of our players and still on their first, right? And then all of a sudden they just came up against the brick wall that was Kenshiro. Mm, very much so. And it's like My God. <laughs> it's like really good choices there coming out of coming out of great for this.
But now we go on to the next round, and we only have the mm -hmm. starters available to us. Uh, Battlefield, Final Destination, Town mm -hmm. and City, Pokemon Stadium 2, and Smashville. Yep, um, and we ban first one stage now, because we're away team. This is game two. Um, so we banned uh, Town and City to start, so we know it's not Kenshiro coming out first. <laughs> 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 Um, and now they get two bands from the starter list, and then we select from the remaining band, from the remaining stages. So, just waiting on their two bands, um, and then we'll get started. Going by the bands, I'd say it's probably um, Asthmatic coming out again first for Post. Um, he generally is not as big of a fan of the Animal Crossing stages, so. But uh, I'm actually not sure Ghost is handling. Uh, player order tonight so me and asthmatic kind of share that i'm not a big fan of the animal crossing stages generally i mean i i mean if i was to pick one i'd pick town and city um mm -hmm. i don't know something about them something about them like you, you got more room to like move around as a as a heavy on town and city you got more mm -hmm. like you got more space to just kind of like throw your weight around feels yeah. like <laughs> yeah i guess you can't get tethered crabs across halfway across the stage as a heavy trying to like get in on like a zoner like samus or something like that all right you know? they've been pokemon stadium and fd which leaves uh smashville and battlefield smashville and battlefield that was asthmatic um i mean i would go for the k roll pick and go to Smashville, get those early kills up there. Mm. Um, that's what I would do. If, if it is ceiling asthmatic. on Smashville? Yeah, if there's a little bit of a mm. lower ceiling, and you have that mid-platform to kind of... You just kind of just roll with it. Yeah. And plus, you just you deny, essentially, almost half the stage with Crown. And we yeah. are going to Battlefield. But uh, can I just interject for a second? Have you been keeping up with what's going on with Melee, Frisco? Have you watched any Melee recently? I have, I have not been keeping up with Melee. I know that there is like big a big... House 10. Big House 10. I know that... Um, so one. I know that um, Mango lost. That's all I really you know, know. Do you know who Amsa is? He's like a Yoshi player, right? He's the only good Melee Yoshi player, and Yoshi has never won a Super Major until last weekend when he beat Mango in Grand are Finals you, are you in serious? Game 5. I am dead serious. Yoshi was considered like D tier. Like he's like 18th out of 25 on the I tier list for melee. I now. I and didn't know that. He just he just took him down. It was crazy. I need to watch that. Jeez. At least just go watch the ending of game five. Like Amsa just like he just explodes. Like it's crazy. Oh, I need to switch this. We're in the match. My bad. <laughs> we are in the match. And it's going to be uh, Red coming out first here for Suni Eri and Asthmatic coming out first again, but switching to the Mario this time. The original OG canon. Yeah, uh, right. <laughs> dis, uh, disagreement? I don't know what to call it. <laughs> disagreement? <laughs> I mean, I guess that's one way to put it. <laughs> I did it. Conflict. Let's say conflict. Whoa! Oh, that's so long, dude. Wow. Asthmatic is. Uh, yeah, he's, he's coming out to play today. There's another it. one. I love Asthmatic Getting the flood away, and the game! No way! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, beautiful stuff from Asthmatic. But a good uh, counter here from Red. That <laughs> Those two uptips were scary for Red, though, because you're on the top platform, and Mario's taking you up. That could have been really bad news Very for good. Red. But uh, Ooh, luckily for him, he doesn't come out a lot of it, but a great combo now coming in from Asthmatic once again. And uh, yeah, Suni did not was not aware, but they have unlocked Asthmatic's final form now. <laughs> oh, oh, that was a jump! Wow, that was, that that was, was some big. that was some crusty di. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I, I get why he di'd that way, but it yeah, was he also crusty. did not. That, that also took his jump, so I think he was kind of screwed pretty much either way. Oh, just barely missing the spike on that one. Yeah, Asthmatic is definitely here to play. Yeah, very much so. His Mario is, is definitely his second best character, I will say. Back you throw? think the um Oh he went to go for the CG stays Mike! Yeah. Did he tech that or was it just like not a lot of knockback because he wasn't hyper percent I don't think it was en enough knockback. But he was kinda hoping he was he would go down. Yeah. Like more he went way more horizontal. We're What's back happening? to even again. here. He's gonna do it again. He He's gonna tech it this time. Oh he oh. pressed it too many times. Yeah, he, he was did. smashing that tech button. He got the tech, but then he just that made him buffer the air dodge, sadly. Yeah, it's unfortunate. If I throw? Back throw, back throw, back throw, back throw. Yep. Here it comes. Can get the flood. No, nope. he's gonna go high. 
Another up air. Still alive, though. Another high recovery. Another up air. <laughs> that is a stale move now. <laughs> yeah, super stale. Yeah, that's like... That's like 10-month-old Cheetos on an open bag stale. <laughs> yeah. That will take it, though. There's the back air. And we're even pretty much 25% lead for red on the Donkey Kong. Um, nice grab here from Asthmatic. Oh, I think he jumped there? Uh... I, I oh, what a, oh, what a turnaround there! That was so good! I'm surprised he didn't buffer, like, mm. an air dodge there or a jump. Good yeah. DIN, wow. avoiding the spike. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a close one. Very close game one here. He used to jump! The step back! Oh, he goes for the high recovery. Great job there by Red, getting back good in a reverse. really bad situation. I, have, I don't think I've ever seen his Mario, like, the movement, like... Sure, the stocks it's super even, but I've never seen him move so good as Mario, to be honest. Yeah, like the movement's yeah, he's wonderful. moving right now. This is tough though. He's on the platform. Up smash! Wow, DK's so heavy. Still not gonna die to that. I think Red also with a little bit to prove this match as well. Remember he had that SD in game one, so Ooh. much uh, more solid. Oh, he took his jump, I think. This is yeah, huge. He did. He did. He did. Oh, oh, oh he the missed it. It was Back. right there. Tech, tech, tech. Good job with the tech hole. Oh. Excellent tech there. Redemption. Redeem, right? <laughs> what? Oh no, what was that grab? <laughs> oh, that 67, he can't find the kill, but a much more solid uh, performance that time. That was from crazy. His for sure. I I'm cannot so believe that nothing landed there <laughs> at the ledge. That was such a good match. I can't believe it. That was to, to crazy, be, dude. To be honest, I can't believe he got that grab. I thought he rolled behind him. I don't know what happened, to be honest. I thought, because I could have sworn Mario rolled behind him. That's crazy. I loved it. I loved every bit of that match. That was wonderful. That was so good. Wonderful stuff coming out yeah. of Asthmatic and Red. That was so cool. I am a Mario believer when it comes to Asthmatic. <laughs> I believe in the Mario. Yeah, for sure. Um, <laughs> there was there was some uh, there was a little bit of input lag there. Apparently, I didn't notice it on my end, just spectating. But um. There, Obviously, it's easy to say yeah. that you're not actually playing. Yeah, I, um, there, there was a, definitely a few drops. Probably just streaming it to you on Discord. Um, you're not going to notice it as much. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But there were definitely a few drops. <clears throat> but still. That is all, the disadvantage. That... that Yeah, that is the disadvantage of playing against um, a school where they're all playing from different switches. Um, is... Uh, when you're all playing from the same switch, you have the disadvantage of not knowing who's coming out next and not knowing the names of the players, obviously. But when you're all playing from separate switches, sometimes there can be, you know, some lag issues with one that there's not with the other, and you have to kind right. of re-adjust your play to the new lag with each opponent that you're facing. Yeah, because um, it's, it's going to be slightly different. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely the tough part. I, I, to me, that's the hardest part about being a Smash Ultimate fan, to be honest. I have gotten so jaded when it comes to, like, online play in general. Oh, yeah. Um, personally. But it's like, you know, you you have to, when you do play online, you have to, like, come and, you know, kind of adjust yourself to it. That's that's the thing yeah, of the game tough. at this point. It's tough. We we try to get some offline or <clears throat> online matches in as practice, like, right before the, uh, the actual match. Um, because we, we're used to practicing and warming up offline. And then when you're playing in that zero latency environment, you swap back to online sometimes. Sometimes it can be a bit of adjustment, especially on that first stock. Yeah. It's kind of messed but, up uh, that you have to do. Here that, we go. Hundred percent have to. DK versus Snake. Nice uh, jab combo. Goes for the nair after. I'm not sure if that was the right decision. Yeah, I would have uh, probably gone for up tilt. I love that fade back, uh, jump back, down air. Ooh, and I, uh, just Ken, Kenny definitely banks on like these grenade up airs, like from the knockback, right? But like, it, oh, did, yeah. it looked like he was going for that. And I was like, that was great. That was so uh, sneaky. He stuck him there. Another C4 is going to land. DK such a big body. So aggressive right now. Kenny's Kenny's great. <laughs> They're all great. This entire team. Is great. <laughs> I love watching them play. Grab back throw Nikita. I will say, it all the way back. <laughs> I will say. Oh, he landed right on it. Oh, going for the two frame. I like it. That interesting choice on the uh, 
Side throw? That was weird. <laughs> yeah. Oh, back Grab, throw? back throw. Oh, sneaky! Sneaky! He had no clue that C4 <laughs> was there. And now we're all even up at six stocks apiece. Kenny is that so... That was... Wow. Yeah, Kenny's so good at sneaking in those C4s. <laughs> I love it. The only, com the only like critique I would give Kenny about his play is I would love to see him try to go for down throw F tilt on characters more. There are a couple times he could have done it on DK mm -hmm. there, I, I think. Um, that's a that's a great point of feedback actually because he never really does that. He does at low percent he does the up throw up tilt, which is true I think yes. on most on most if not all of the cast at very low percent. And um, then he pretty much will just uh, forward throw or back throw towards the side of the stage that they're closest to um, yeah. at mid percent, and then obviously at high percent he does the down throw up tilt. Um, but that's pretty much it. He doesn't really mix it up other than that for his yeah, throws. Yeah, and, and, I, and I get it. I get why he might choose not to do it, because it only works on a select, like, half of the cast. Like, he can't do it on, like, smaller characters or lighter mm. characters. But on characters like DK, you can 100% do it, where essentially, yeah. if, like, let's say you they do a neutral getup at ledge. You grab them, punish the neutral getup. Or they, like, do a, a getup attack at ledge, and they you punish it by grabbing. That's, a de mm. that's death. That's essentially death. You down throw, F tilt, like 120, 130, around that range. They're dead. There, there's no way around it. Because um, it's yep. true. It's true on those bigger hitboxes. So I, I would um, just say have Kenny experiment with that a bit more. A couple, couple things. Change the stocks to 6-6. Six, six. And nice. also, um, Jack is coming in now for SUNY, the Game & Watch player that got, I think, three-stocked. Was it three-stocked by Kenshiro? Yeah, it was. Uh, no, he lost one stock. Kenny, uh, yeah, but he, three. yeah, but Kenshiro lost it to the um, true. To the you're, DK. Right. you're right. So he three stocked the uh, game and watch. You're right. You're a hundred percent right. I will say this is a ho I, I, this is probably a horrible matchup for Snake. To be honest, I would imagine. I imagine the zoning tools and like bucket, bucket especially, it's probably, it's probably hard for Snake. Yeah, a great start here though for Kenshiro. Seventy-five percent unanswered, uh, but he does not cancel that Nikita fast enough. Uh, Out. does his thing, uh, ref does his thing absorb the grenades? It, ref it absorbs bucket. and reflects them. Oh, beautiful! He just tossed him right into that up smash. Oh, really and it, yeah, just right there, you see it with the Nikita. Absorbed and reflected. That oh, wow, was... that almost landed. I know, that was such that, a good That was support. good. Up smash does find it, though, and, uh, Kenny, not to be outdone by Kenshiro, looking for a run of his own here. Reading his roll. F to that was a that was pretty crazy. Really nice, really nice. Doesn't does miss the uh, nair there, but another good string jab one two. Jab one two up smash. I love it. I love watching up these smash. guys play. <laughs> I get so excited. <laughs> up tilt. Oh. oh dare. Oh close. Oh he <laughs> dodged away from it. Nice dodge there by Jack, but uh, still gonna be a pretty uh, big uphill battle to climb. Yeah, a little late on the up airs. I was going to say, you... Ooh. You don't see Kenny kill that often with that move. Yeah, I, if I was Jack right now, I would be focusing a lot more on trying to get Kenny up in the air, like right above him, just throw those up airs out. I feel like, you know, Snake doesn't have the greatest, like, air mobility, so it's like those up airs are going to be have a lot of worth. Dude! Woo! Dude! Dude! <laughs> Somebody call an ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> <laughs> that was a three stock, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. It's six to three now. And uh, SUNY going to be probably shaking in their boots right now because they have not even found Kenshiro yet. <coughs> and now yeah. down to their last player. <coughs> I'm like, I'm like coughing. On that. that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that that actually worked. I thought that he was over the stage. And then he just died. That was crazy. Yeah. Um, oh, it's gonna better. be, it is gonna be Monkey Boy coming up next here for. Uh, no, wait, sorry, that that was Monkey Boy. Yeah, that was Monkey. Boy. Uh, Jack is Monkey Boy, so that so it's gonna be Polar Chan now. The K rule that got. Uh, let's see, what did he get? He got six stocks from us game one. So, uh, if you go if you go by his performance in game one, this is actually a very close game. True. Oh, this is the rematch. The last time we had a... Th mm -hmm. Ooh. The last time I'm pretty sure it was a three-stock, wasn't it? I didn't think uh, Kenny got no, any he stocks. Just, he just took his last stock. He only had one left, so... Wait, no. 
Kenny lost. Kenny was second, and he. Yeah, did. that's right. Yeah, that's right. Kenny. Did he take one or none? Kenny took. He took one because he had uh, he had two stocks left. Asthmatic took one, then Kenny took one, and then Kenshiro took the last seven. Okay. Okay. Yes, the, the seven. That's the key there. So <laughs> he didn't get three stocked. He took one. He took one. So um, going the complete opposite direction here. I'm I'm pretty sure. Um, this now act, acting as the front man, now the anchor. I, honestly, yep. I think I think this is a kind of a strong move coming out because mm -hmm. obviously the back end of it's gonna the be previous, battlefield. Yeah. Oh, battlefield. Oh, geez. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like the back end of the previous round was definitely a little flimsy. Um, I mean, Kenshiro took seven. I mean, that's that's mm -hmm. that's crazy. So I do think this is the smart move. You generally want to have some form of an anchor. Um, the last match just kind of proves it. Post what Kenny was, I mean, Kenshiro was the anchor, and he brought the mm -hmm. entire thing right back with a huge swing. Wait. Oh, yeah. K For a second, I got really. <laughs> I keep getting confused when it's not us as the K rule. I don't know what it is. And it's even Matt Stocks. Yep. We'll see if. All right, here we go. We'll see if Kenny can actually, you know, reverse the situation here. Like, well, from the previous set. Not now. The, now, <laughs> Polar's yeah. got to do the reversal. Yeah. I love that ledge trap there from Ken, from Kenny. Um, getting a good amount of damage down. And the uh, tech away. Ooh, that was a really... That was actually a really nice rare. Reverse aerial rush there from Polar Rush. Going for the uh, spike off stage. It seems Polar's very aware that Snake does not like being in shield. Because he, he went right for the grab. He, he ran across stage and went right for that grab. Very smart move. Mm -hmm. Because Snake loves working out of shield. Um, but if, yep. you if you start grabbing him, he's not going to like that. <laughs> not going to like that. <laughs> that was oh. really smart. I would have liked to have seen oh. a grab instead, though. Going up high. Yep, he comes right back down there, learning his lesson, I think, mm -hmm. from the uh, first game. Very much so. Back air connects. This is going to be a Nikita opportunity. Sending it straight down. Not much that Polar Chain can do here. Yeah, air dodge is going to send him to the other side. Uh, and Kenny messed up there. So, oh, down throw? Yep. Yeah, that's true. Go. And uh, Zuni now down to their final two stocks. That up smash low profile to grab. <laughs> oh, beautiful dash attack. And he connects it up there, up tilt. Weird combo. Kenny is playing so much better this game than he did in game one. And uh, one, two grenade into the up air. Kenny's just firing on all cylinders right now. And now with a little bit of. Uh, Momentum. Very but much so. It's the, they, the, C4. The he's so good at these quick draw C4s. Yes. And I think feel like the big difference here is that Kenny is not letting Crown zone him out. He is not giving yeah. him a chance to do it. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> he's going for it. Oh, he encountered. <laughs> <laughs> he deserved it. He deserved that. He did. He did. <laughs> he was going for the clip. <laughs> he <laughs> wanted the clip so bad. I mean, when you're when you're this far ahead, why not? Just do it. <laughs> I, I mean, it would have been a nasty clip. And now he's got his crown. Just protect but the crown at all like, costs. What, is, what does he pick up? Yeah, I don't know. That was that was weird. Because he had the crown, then he grenade and dropped and shielded, so dropped it. And then it was like, makes it a little awkward for him, I think, because it's like he doesn't really know what he's going to be picking up. The, de oh, inter the grenade into oh. This is oh so crazy. This gosh. is so crazy. He's just doing so much work with these grenades. Until he's got a grenade in hand and it explodes into the up smash. Doesn't find it yet. But here comes Nikita. How is this so different from the first match? Beautiful. You, the te textbook snake right there. Put the C4, bait the roll, up tilt. And the eagle's wow. going to take it in two. GG's to Suni Eri. Very well played. And the eagle's going to improve to 3-0. and on the season in the ECAC have extended their regular season ECAC win streak now to uh, 11 games. 11 in a row regular season <laughs> matches for the Eagles, Frisco. 11 in a row? Mm hmm. Really? It's just, re just regular season. Because they went 8 0 last season, ECAC. Regular season. Oh, interesting. And okay, then they cool. had the run, then they had the run through playoffs and lost in the championship. And then oh. now 3 0. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Post game interview with Frisco. Yeah. Who? Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? <laughs> Who's here? Hey, yo, is this the guy? Yo, Kenny. What is good, Frisco? 
How you doing, Hello? Kenny? How you feeling after Where's that? The jacket was the camera. I'm feeling oh, pretty dude, good. I like your jacket. Moment. Look at you. Look at you. Yeah, oh, I mean, oh. hey. I play Smash, but I don't dress like a Smash player. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, look, you're looking so fly, man. Looking so fly. Thank I like you, it. I like you. it. So, look. So, obviously, the first match for you going into this, like at the very start, um, you yes. only took you only took one stock off of Polar going into that. It was kind of, to, to be honest, it was kind of oppressive on like when it came to his end. For sure. You turned it around. The, you, <laughs> you you essentially flipped the script going into the second match. What were you thinking think, going into the rematch? Honestly, I was just thinking like I can't I can't let that happen again. You know, <laughs> like I know the matchup. I played K rule before. I should know what to do. And you know, I I just did. You know, I did what I had to do and executed the whole team. <laughs> now I noticed because the first one you let you first match you kind of let crown kind of define like how the match was kind of like going um I, I that's what i felt in general like you were you in the second time round, you did not let cr the crown kind of define uh, the pace of the match um yeah. k rule was above you a lot on the second match and you did not let him land ever <laughs> and i felt like that was beneficial I don't, I don't know if that was like how you wanted to approach it generally like um is that kind of is that kind of like accurate and like where you just oh, yeah, didn't want to sure. I wanted to force those like in the air interactions because I know his landing options are just terrible. Like, what's he gonna do? Neutral air, you know? So I could just cover all of that, you know, set up my traps, my C4, grenades on stage, on platforms, and just make it that much tougher for him. So I was just putting that pressure in the second round instead of being passive like I was in the first. I felt like you had like so many more traps kind of set up. Like you had, you know, at least two grenades out in C4, the sneaky C4s. It was, it was wonderful. Yeah. Um, but from the first half, because the uh, for match one, you were you guys were in kind of a pretty big deficit. I think mm -hmm. you were at uh, seven to three, so it was a four stock deficit, and that's pretty big. Um, and you oh, guys yeah. turned you guys turned it around. I mean, what was your game plan when when you were at that seven or when when you were at that four stock deficit? What was your general game plan at that point? Like, what were you guys thinking? Ooh. Well, I mean, by that time, Great was already up, wasn't he? Yeah, but what? I <laughs> so, guess what? Did you discuss anything quickly prior, or? Nah, I just told him, you know, do what he does best: play that Bowser, you know, play optimal Bowser. And I was just praying on the sidelines, <laughs> <laughs> like, please. You know, you I was know, like, I hope his beat doesn't hurt because he's carrying us through this first round. So I was like, you know, I gotta pick up the slack in the next one. The honesty, man. I, I really appreciate yeah. the honesty. You must have been popping off when that, because by that, by the last match, there was only a one stock deficit. You, that yeah, must that's have been, true. There, essentially, a three stock happened. That's essentially what happened. Like even though it wasn't, that's essentially what happened. Though. Um, you must have been ecstatic. Though when you saw, I mean, when you I saw was. game and when you saw game and watch, did you did you have any like specific thoughts when you saw game and watch as like the final character in the lineup going against Bowser? Was there like any kind of thoughts there? I mean, not really, but Kenshiro did. He was kind of like, oh, damn, it's Game and & Watch. And I'm like, don't even sweat it. You know, just, he's lighter than you. He's really predictable, because what's he going to do in the air, down there with the key, you know, easily punishable. <laughs> and he really capitalized on that, you saw in the game. Yeah, exactly. And that's, that. that is what I generally kind of think about in that matchup. Because what do you think? Nair, key, up B. And, uh, and maybe the, like, a lot of fair. There can be bear, but I feel like I feel like you're correct, especially in like in a, like a, the majority of, of game and watches. They'll kind of you rely on down air, and you get the punishes off of that. And I, I think your kind of analysis on that is is correct. So then, thank you. And then you guys kind of you guys reset it, and then uh, I will say, I even though Asthmatic lost the first match, I was so hype about the Mario, like the movement that Asthmatic had on the Mario. Yeah. was so I I don't know I don't know what it was but when he did like those little turnaround into ba those turnarounds into bears he yeah, it felt like he was moving like yeah that was so it was so hype man I yes, like it was I'm a believer in the asthmatic Mario even though he lost like I felt like the only I feel like you know the the tech situations he buffered the air dodge he lost a sucker early that stuff happens you know and you kind of work from that yeah otherwise the Mario was looking great um so the reason why i bring it up and i kind of went on a tangent was i mean what were your thoughts going into game one you obviously brought up the mario i mean what was your thought process behind uh bringing asthmatic out with the mario 
I mean, I figured because he also plays K Rule, right? And he thought that DK wasn't right for the matchup because one, K Rule's projectiles, two, he's a heavy just like him, and three, they're both combo food. So he figured, why not play Mario, you know, the lighter character, the combo heavy character, and just, you know, get it done. And I think... And he did. I think he did pretty well. He yes, he did. did some solid work for the team. Yes. I, I honestly think that there were, some of the stuff he did was some of the most impressive stuff I've actually ever seen him do with Mario. And it was just, it was so contradictory because, you know, the stage spike, he lost that stock super early. And, you know, it was just a big turning point. But he was he played it very strong. I will say that. He played that match very strong. It just come yes, things happen. It's unfortunate, you know? But he, he played it very strong. And then um we went into you after that. Um it was so it was K rule. Mm -hmm. And then you repeated the matchup with Game and Watch. And then Yeah, K rule. I mean yeah. I mean wasn't it the DK? Yeah, the DK was first. The DK was okay, first. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know, really strong showing coming out of you guys. Do you have any, like, final thoughts on, like, how, you know, the entire thing went? Um, you know, your mm. general thoughts on anything. My general thoughts, I mean, in the first game, you know, after losing like that, I only took, like, what, one stock? <laughs> so I was like, nah, I can't go out like that. I got to make the right adjustments. I got to adapt and just be more careful with my options and watching what options he's choosing. And then, you know, based off of that, I mean, you can see how that went. You can see the results of that mindset. Yeah, you guys did very well tonight. And it's it's always a pleasure watching you guys play, like really. Um, you guys, I hope, you know, you get the streak, you keep the streak on going. Uh, and you get right back into those championships and you take it this year, you know? For sure, for sure, yeah. Um, who, do you know who, do we know who you guys would be playing next week already or? Um, I'm not even sure. It's just like a thing that's released weekly in the ECAC, so Coach is going to have to let us know. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Um, do you have any, like, thoughts for the future? Um, or you're just kind of taking it day by day? Yeah, just taking it day by day. You know me, man, just chilling. Nice, man. I appreciate it. I, I, I appreciate it. Like, I feel like if you, if you get caught up, then it's like, you know... You you you, start, you tend to start worrying too much about little things. Take it day yeah, by day. I think the best way to go. Exactly. Just go with the flow. Yeah. How's everybody else feeling over there? I haven't heard from them in a while. I mean, we're feeling pretty good, you know, just fresh off the dub. Like I said, making the right adjustments, executing the game plan correctly. And yeah, we're just enjoying this win for now until next week. Yeah. Um, you also have, I know they weren't on the lineup tonight, but you also have Ming and BK, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Um, how has that been with two new teammates this year? Ooh, I mean, it's been, it's been interesting because Ming also plays a heavy, really. And then <laughs> Iron plays another zoner, like Samus. Uh, I mean, we had a Samus before on the team, but I could say that he definitely has a lot of potential. And so does Ming. Actually, um, I, will yeah, say, I think they're both really solid players. And when they come into crew battles, they really, you know, do their thing. They take stocks. I mean, the crew battle way, you know, you see them like doing the Ridley sides, you know, the suicide off the ledge and all that, which really helps us out in the crew battles because it's all about the stocks. You got to take the stocks. Yeah. And it's coming out of team heavy. I, It's like I will. It's it's funny to me because both of these players um, both of these new players have been really good. Um, I will BK being able to like capitalize on stocks pretty heavily just by the nature of Samus and doing it well, doing it very well. Uh, make, it's, I, that's kind of like that's very much the theme of Team Purple. I will say is quality stocks. Um, <laughs> you guys tend to live yeah. a lot longer than like a lot of players that generally play. Um, yeah. You 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 get a lot of quality out of your stocks and I feel like these two new players do it well too um, I think last week it was um, when Ming I think I casted last week when Ming played yeah I think I think um, Ming actually cleaned up the rest of the stocks last yeah week. he had a very strong showing at the end holding on oh, yeah. to a lot of stocks again quality high percentage <laughs> living long make sneaking in those kills at those high percents utilizing rage to the best of your ability 
Yep. Yeah. And I feel like that's just, I mean, it just continues. I feel like that's what it feels like on my end is that's like kind of like the trend. You guys are just, um, and this, these two new players are just a continuation from that. I don't know if that's how you generally feel. Um, I, I, w would you agree on that? Like you guys feel like um, you're kind of melding in that same way with these two new guys? I mean, I would definitely agree with that. Uh, but I would say, yeah, you're right. They definitely fit in with the team. Like you said, we all play heavy. So, you know, we're going to get quality stocks. Like we're going to take a stock before we die ourselves. And that's always a great thing. Uh, and yeah, like I said, they're really solid players and they come to practice pretty consistently and they, they put in the time, they grind, so. You working? You guys working on anything specific in your practices or? Just how to play optimal, like with their character. So we have them watching combo videos, doing VOD reviews of our games from like last week, the previous weeks and see what they can do better, what they can learn from and what they could implement like in future games. I, that and that is the most important thing. I feel like VOD reviews are hundred percent the best thing you can do to like improve. You kind of mark little points that you could have done a little better because literally you will start noticing if you do VOD reviews. You if you realize you got taken a stock at this one point because of this reason, it tends to be you lost another stock later on for the exact same reason. Exactly. You got to keep track of those habits, especially those terrible habits that get you killed very much so and i mean we all have our habits we all kind of like fall to these kind of like little things and we work on them you know yep. so, and that's like the the best thing you can do so it's, exactly. it's, it's wonderful to hear that coming out of you guys i appreciate that frisco i love it i love it so do you have any like uh final words for everybody heading out into uh tonight final words i mean you know i appreciate y'all tuning in uh once again this is the captain of the Smash Purple team, Kenny, a.k.a. Ghost007. Uh, yeah, easy dubs today. Hopefully next week is the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in, and um, I'm out. Thank you so much, Kenny. I appreciate it, always. No I'll catch you, Fisco. See you later, man. So, again, thank you to everybody for tuning in tonight for post-university purple versus eerie uh suny eerie i don't know if denny's coming back oh denny's back denny's i'm back, back. i'm he's back here. okay yeah ggs to suny tonight uh eagle's gonna take it and uh that was a long interview uh post game interview there frisco you were grilling him <laughs> oh, i wanted to i wanted to see what the thought process was and how things are going because yeah. like i haven't talked to him. i love it i haven't talked I to it. him since like the um the start so i wanted to see how he felt with mm -hmm. like the new players too and whatnot um yeah, yeah. how things are vibing yeah, I love it. All right, well, that's going to do it for us tonight uh, on Post U Esports 2. But uh, come on over to our main channel, Post U Esports. In about 45 minutes, we got a Valorant match starting tonight um, against Hood College at uh, 10 p.m. So come in and uh, support you Eagles in their quest for another, East, uh, another NECC Valorant win. So we'll uh, see you guys in about 45 minutes. By the way, just while you're here, I was able to mm -hmm. successfully... Oh, wait, raid now. Yeah, I can, so I successfully raided you. It's because it's for what for whatever reason it had the default is a uh, channel has to be live for 30 days before they can raid and accept raids. Um, that's what oh. people can't just like make. It, it's, a, it's to protect against like uh, toxic raids from people trying to like mess with a streamer or whatever. Uh, um, okay. They can't just like make a new Twitch channel and then have everyone go there and then rate them and then like you know whatever. Um, but I changed it to like three days because uh, we didn't we Twitch TV uh, our post esports two channel is not that old so I changed I thought I changed it but I guess the settings didn't take so I had just had to go and change the settings again and we're good right. now. Well, I'm rating now. I just I just typed it in right as soon as you he's, said that. He's live now. Uh, I don't know if they're live. I just kind of typed it in. Let me check. Uh, yeah, he's not live now. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. Well, should I, uh, that I... would have been a that would have been an early uh, an early uh, stream starting soon. My bad. Sorry. No worries. Can I cancel? No problem. It should, I, should I cancel it? Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Sounds. All good. right. You guys all have a good night. Thanks for watching. See you at ten. Adios, y'all.